Hi, this is Eric with VBAString.com, and this video is on how to compare cells with VBA. So we're going to take these two columns and find the new items in it. So let's say the scenario is your boss comes in, uh, brings you a list of new cities, hence this list right here, and this has new cities in there. And they're not here's your master list right here and again I put these on I put them on one sheet just for simplicity but you probably get uh, it probably email you this the sheet he or she may email you the sheet and give you a bunch of bunch of new entries and you want to compare them to your master list to make sure that the uh, compare the new list with the old list so that you don't add the same the same city twice and so that you have a master uh, puddle master list of anybody you can and all the new cities you can market to so how do you do that that's the answer to that question so so I'm going to compare the list first of all I'm sending this column A or actually more specifically uh, a1 to A37, I'm making this into a name range. Okay, it's a name range. It's called master list. So, master list. <clears throat> if you need to go ahead and modify that, uh, go up here to the formula bar and then to name manager and here, master list. Here's where all your Here's where it refers to the name of the name of the range, the values and the scope. Okay, so kind of like in the previous previous version. So you have your name manager, um, and master list. Blah, blah, blah. So it's all good. Anyway, back to here. So again. So first of all, the main thing here is to make sure that the li this is going to serve as your master master list that we're going to compare against, and we're going to loop. We're going to actually okay. We're going to look in the the name name range here for each of these values, and if they're in this list, the master list, we're going to identify them. So. Basically, we're used as a custom function called, um, let's see, what was it called? Get new entries. Oh, that's not the one. And some of these, uh, let's see, get new entries. Notice my, my functions, custom functions already show up in this list. And then the argument is going to be, uh, going to be this, okay? So is this is Berlin in the list? Is Berlin in the list? False. Oh no no, sorry. If if Berlin is in the list, it returns false because it's uh, not a new entry. Is London a new entry? Notice I can drag this down. It's false. Okay, Mexico. Mexico new entry false uh, Lula or Lulea whatever you call it is false <clears throat> Houston is a new entry so it's true Mannheim false 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 and then we go down to the through the list here so it returns the values so I could take take I could look through these and filter them and I go ahead and filter them after it's all said and done and let's see um i'm just gonna call it one whatever uh <clears throat> and anything in this list data and then filter and i want to get anything that's true and then i can add the houston to my to my left here And I may want to get more than just one, so. 
I'm gonna go down here and just folder a bunch of these. It takes a while. Okay, now I know I've identified all these as true. And here, my filter. Uh, and wow, I already know this as. So, uh, let's see here. True. And here, I'm going to say these are my true values here. And I'm going to here and paste them here and unfilter this. And let's see if I have my new values. Yeah, I do. Look at that. So my new values are here on this list. Now let's talk about the VBA part of it. Because this is a VBA channel. And so, anyway, uh, I have this screen here. It's so alternate F11. We'll bring up the VBA window. Oh. <clears throat> so. Okay, so here, here's my VBA window, and I'm going to add a new module that makes a that makes my custom functions show up in the in the show up as one of the as I type IntelliSense. It allows me to use it as a custom function. So uh, notice here, get new entries, my arg one. That's just my argument. I called it whatever I wanted to. And it's going to return a boolean. A yes, no value. So, find new cities we did business in. Okay, good. Uh, the per So, here I've been used to ADO. <clears throat> ADO to, to compare instead of trying to do a... Uh, uh, trying to do a V lookup or lookup values in the table. I'm just going to do a... a I prefer to use a database, uh, a database select statement, and so that's what I'm doing here. So first of all, I need to set up my connection string, my ADO connection string. That's one of the nice. I have another video out here, or somewhere about blog at vbastring.com, um, where it shows you shows you another another example. Of There's probably several more. At vbastring.com, uh, my value of whatever the cell is, whatever the cell I'm evaluating is, select from the name range where the field. Notice that my field where the field is this, where the field is, uh, whatever my argument is. Okay, my argument are the new entries. So Berlin and return true or false. Select from that. Uh, setting my record set equal to execution of the the SQL statement. And if the record set is the end of the file, then it's true. That means it's not found. It's a new item. Otherwise, the item is already in the list. So return false. BLN new. And this, uh, I'm using the same variable here. I could actually bring new entries up here, but I didn't because I want to do my trash collection down here. This is my garbage collection, quote, unquote, quote, garbage collection. Anyway, whatever, you get the point. So uh, I'm getting, I'm setting my function equal to BLN new whatever the value is, if it's found or not found. That's about all. And anyway, if you want the code, you can come out now to vvastring.com. Click down there in the link below. And you'll be able to, I'm going to send you a, I want to give you the direct link to, to where this is at. Go copy it for your own projects. And leave me any questions in the comments below. If you do have any questions, thanks again for watching. This is Eric at VBAstring.com. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell notification if you found value in the video. Bye-bye.